is the Health Announcement Spotlight Series. I'm Jody Tropiano, the Content Director for Health, and I'm here with Damon Auer, Chief Executive and General Manager of North American Region at Dataloose. Hi, Damon. Hey, Jody. So I hear you have some exciting news to share with us today, so we'll get right to it. First all, off, who is Dataloose and what makes you different? Yeah, thanks, Jody. So um, Dataloose, data if you say it correctly, um, as I've been instructed by my European colleagues, um, is one of the biggest software companies in the world. And most healthcare executives, I think, here in North America probably have not heard of Dataloose yet. So this is an exciting time to be able to share this news. In fact, it's, uh, it's very current news. Dataloose just completed an acquisition of a business from DXC Technology here in the US that is really seeding our launch of the brand. Um, here, that transaction completed on April 1, 2021, no fooling. Um, and it's exciting just to be able to um, bring a, a brand with such a legacy of impact on the healthcare system and digital transformation in Europe to the North American market. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, so I hear you have one of the largest R&D teams out there. So what does that mean for your customers? How does that really set you apart? Well, it, it makes a world of difference. I think is we can all appreciate the healthcare industry all over the world, but in particular um, right here in the US is changing extraordinarily um, quickly in the last pandemic year that we've lived through has just accelerated the digital transformation um, of healthcare faster, I think, than any of us um, even hoped or predicted. And so really having a, the, an R&D team of 2,500 um, clinically experienced uh, engineers all over the world means that we can partner with our customers in healthcare to really um, partner at the speed of change is the way I, I think about it. The transformation is extraordinarily fast. And for us to not just participate in that, and I mean us collectively um, participate in that transformation, but actually lead that transformation requires agility and speed that you can only accomplish at the scale we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So let's talk a little bit about your future goals. What are the, the top three changes that Dataloose hopes to make in the coming years? Well, really, it's we our mission is to help our customers, whether they are healthcare providers or payers or life sciences organizations, um, really move at the speed of change in the industry. Um, and so if I were going to narrow down three things that I would like to see us be able to accomplish with our customers over the next several years is really um, accelerate and enable transparency in the industry um, for all participants, consumers, clinicians, um, the various industry organizational participants, which by the way, continues to grow rapidly um, as we at HLTH know, um, we've got financial services firms that are carving out a place to participate in the healthcare industry. Um, retail and grocery um, organizations have an opportunity to participate and add value to the consumer experience and care. So transparency is one. Um, experience, consumer experience and clinician experience uh, is the second. Really having a positive impact on the way that consumers experience care and the way that clinicians experience providing that care in a collaboration with the consumer and external care team members like community-based organizations, um, family members, friends, and other supports for the consumer. And then finally is to just help enable the digital transformation um, in healthcare with our customers. Excellent. So digging in a bit more into the personalization of care, can you tell us a little bit about how you plan to change the patient experience? Yeah, I, I don't know if you noticed, Jody, while we were just having this conversation, I never, never used the word patient. Um, and that's very much on purpose. Um, 
words matter and the way that we use them matters and nobody in the world likes to be identified as a patient. I know I don't um, and certainly nobody I've met um, over the years. So using the term consumer, when we talk about people who are consuming care and we will all consume care, it's the most personal service arguably that we'll consume in our lifetimes. And it remains um, unfortunately still too wildly impersonal. Um, clinical and personalization um, are dichotomous terms and we have to find a way to reconcile those terms for the benefit of the consumer of care and the clinician that is responsible for outcomes and the well-being of that person. So personalization at scale, um, the way that we are able to personalize retail experiences and hospitality experiences um, are disciplines and language and techniques and tools that we can deploy in our healthcare industry to really change the experience that people have in that system. Thanks again, Damon. We look forward to seeing more from Data Loose in the future. Likewise. Thank you, Jody.